Yo, what's up? Mic too close. Yo, what's up? Cyberox here. Today's tutorial is about variables. Now, I'm going to teach you about variables. Now, real quick, variables is basically a placeholder for something else, if you will. Um, now, I actually learned this from another YouTube channel. His name is Bucky, um, also known as the New Boston. Uh, go check his stuff out. He's pretty cool. He actually taught me some stuff. Um, but uh, we're going to talk about variables today. And we're going to start by naming a variable. All right, Int is basically something that um, it tells what type of variable it is so I'm going to go ahead and real quick tell you what type of variables there are all right um and very on D O U B double um that's about it um real quick I'm going to tell y'all uh better yet go ahead and do this all right. Um, as you see here, uh, these are integers, or this is an integer, and integer means basically numbers, whole numbers. You know, 34, 25, 26, you know, stuff like that. So int means um, numbers, if you will. Char, if you play Killed Wars, it sounds kind of cool if you know what I'm saying. But the char means letters, like actual words and stuff like that. Double means uh, numbers with periods and stuff like that, like, um, you know, 3.8. Basically, double means include the point. Integer does not do that. So we're going to go and start with an integer today. And the reason for this, so, I mean, it's very simple, very easy to start off with. And we're going to make our first little itty-bitty program. So, um, anyways, now that we got our integer here, and if you watched my last tutorial, which I encourage you to watch one through two through three, you know, go in order, it makes everything a lot of sense. Um, I was try I'll try to start new from every now and then, but since we already got a C out, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna name this function. All right, we have it of what type of variable is gonna be. This is gonna be an integer function, which means a number function, whole number. So we're gonna call this function um, var for variable. And that's what I actually put in my book all the time. I put var equals such and such. Var meaning variable. But um, to go ahead and make it easy, we're just going to put num1. All right. Now, to name an integer, to name the variable of an integer or any other thing, you can't start off with a, uh, with a number like 6, num. Otherwise, it kind of messes it up. So, basically, you start off with num, then whatever, or in a letter, then a number, if you will. But you can't start off with a, uh, a number. So I'm just going to put num1. I'm going to put a semicolon and end it. So now that we have a C out, um, we're going to go ahead and uh, actually back it up. Um, after num1, we're going to type in equals and we're going to put 30. And this is basically declaring num1 equals 30. So the variable is actually 30. So if you will, we're going to C out num1. And what that's going to do is going to print basically print on the program what do you think it's going to print out after all the stuff I told you what do you think it's going to print out it's going to print out num1 or is it going to print out the variable of num1 which is 30 so we're just going to wait and see uh, sorry about this wait so long uh, uh, wow it actually wore up earlier alright now as you see here it prints out 30 now why is that alright so let me go ahead and tell you why Integer, which is uh, what type of um, type of variable we're going to use, and num1 equals 30. Now remember, variable is a placeholder for another thing. So if you will, if you will, think of 30 as the actual variable. But we just put num1, which equals 30. So basically, if you will, again, replace num1 with 30. And basically, num1 would actually transform into 30. Because num1 is kind of like a holder for 30. If, if you will, um, num1 is kind of like a folder that holds the number 30. So integer is going into the num1 folder and finding the only thing in there, 30. Now, there can be more, but that is called an array. But we're not going over that right now. So, now that we done did that, let's go ahead and get up a little bit advanced. Alright, we're going to have another integer. We're going to call it num2. And we're going to put it to equal, to that say, 20. Alright. 
Now we are going to see out num1 plus num2. Okay? Now this is going to be kind of different. Do you, how much or what do you think it's going to print out? Is it going to print out num1 and num2? Or is it going to print out um, 50? So only one way to know. I can go ahead and run it. Eddie. All right, now we're loading up. Oh, wow, look at that. 50, here you go. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that worked. I thought it messed up somewhere. But um, as you see here, it basically prints out 50. Now, the reason for this, let's go ahead and close this out so we can dissect this. See out, you know, which is basically like a print, so I'm going to call it print. It's going to print out num1 plus num2. Now, num1 is 30, all right, and num2 is 20. So if you will, it's like 30 plus 20 equals 50. So it's going to print out 50. You know? Now, if you were trying to just make it easy, you would just replace number 1 with instead of 30, put a 50, get rid of number 2, and there you go, you got 50. But this is just a simple thing. All right? Now, let's go ahead and do one more advanced thing before I end this video. And um, we're going to call this num3. Set it equal to, let's say, 99.9. All right. Now we're going to make it do this, plus num3. Now, I'm not going to do the math, but what do you think this will come out as? Do you think it will come out as, you know, a whole bunch of numbers? Do you think it will come out as num1, num2, num3? Well, if you think it's going to come out saying num1 plus num2 plus num3, mm, you're not listening. Let's check it out. We're running the program, taking a little bit as always. Mm. And here you go. Our final number is 1049. Makes a lot of sense to me. All right. So as you see here, it prints out 1049. The reason why? Well, let's dissect it one more time. Then I'll end the video. I'm pretty sure a lot of it. Yay. Let's link. All right. Num1, basically, a.k.a. 30. Plus num2, a.k.a. 20. Plus num3, a.k.a. 999. Add them all together, and what do you got? The bibbidi bobbidi boo, 1049. So now, let's go ahead and add some numbering to this, or some lettering wording. Num1 equals 30, aka num1 is 30. Now, why did I come up with this? Because a variable is a placeholder for something else. Okay, so again, if you will, think of whatever variable you have, and whatever you set it equal to, your variable is what you set it equal to. Now, there are other variables that are called an array, but that is a little bit more up there. So we're not going to go over that just yet. We're actually, after this one, we're going to go over some more stuff. Um, but um, yeah, anyways, as you got this down, I encourage you to mix it up a little bit, you know, put num3 plus 20 plus 30, you know, or do your own thing, all right? But I want you to do this one over and over. Try to get a feel for it. Make, make sure you remember it. And I forgot to mention this in my uh, second one, but um, it's best to go and get a notepad, like an actual notepad in real life, or physical notepad, you know, physical like this, you know, <laughs> paper and write everything down you know i did that with um with my um notepad i have here and i wrote everything down of all types of languages html css java php c plus plus and i remember most of it because i wrote it down i went over it and whenever you're bored pick up this book or the bible either way either book works and just read it you know if you're bored and that way you kind of get to know it you know either way Alright, but um, as always, thank you for watching um, CyberDox. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. As always, God bless and ouch. Have a good day. Oh, real quick, don't forget to stop by um, uh, thenewboston.com. He also has some good tutorials if you don't like mine. If you don't like mine, I will be heartbroken, but I understand. Thank you for watching CyberOx.